Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is another wonderful Friday this May of 2021, making it a wonderful day for basics. And you know what? Today, I'm kind of torn, to be honest. Like, on one hand, I kind of want to do, like, a luxury kind of thing on a specific topic. On another hand, I really, really want to play. So, I'm going to try to combine these two. The future lecture will be in the future. I want to focus on something we touched in a little bit about with uh, our last guest, Colossius, and that is identifying defensive moves that we can try to play that are either A, for Sente, or B, just not terribly slow. And when we do defend in a slow way, I want to identify why we are doing that. Cool? Cool. Now, for this, I don't want to take a game that's too low or too high. So as you can see here, we are looking for uh, someone who is 3 to 6Q. We are looking for that on OGS. So hopefully, if we search really, really hard and maybe wait a little while, we can go and find someone of about that middling Q range that can hopefully put enough pressure on us to get us to defend while, you know, just not making the game horribly complicated. But you know what's not complicated? Heading on over to Badook.club, the one-stop shop for in-person Go, and finding people to play Go in your area, or hitting up their store and finding some sweet, sweet deals on Go equipment of the vintage variety that you might want to snag your, uh, your hands on. Some of them are pretty nice, like this dinged-up Katsura board. Something that could go for a lot, lot, lot more if you were to buy it brand spanking new, as well as other items cheaper still. So if you're looking to find some Go players in your area who are hopefully good old vaccinated, and maybe some gear to play with their new friend out, might want to check out Badook.club. They got you covered. Thanks in part to them for, as always, sponsoring these videos. All right, here we go for the wait. All right, we got ourselves a 5Q game, it would appear. Check out him real quick. Okay, he's got a nice healthy game history here. I'm always kind of paranoid about people who are just trying to snipe. I don't want to go into a framework. Oh, I'll say hello to him. Hi. I don't want to go into a framework game. So I'm going to do 4-4 four, four, and 3-4 facing me. If I did 4-4, four, 3-4 four, four facing him, I'd have to either enclose it or approach him. And I don't really want to uh, risk doing something like that. I'm not interested in playing Orthodox and not interested in playing a Chinese variation. Unfortunately for me, he's doing double 4-4 four, four points. I could go here into a back off, but that's Kobayashi. And I don't really want to play Kobayashi. I just said I don't want to do a framework. I don't want to do a Chinese either because I just said I don't want to do a framework. So my choices are either approach on the inside or approach on the top or just in close. Um, tell you what, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to approach on the top and then probably back off. It allows him to approach by 3-4 stone. I don't like doing this because I think the 3-4 stone is uh, more important. And I should be doing something with it instead of something over here with the 4-4 stone, which is not quite so much. Reason being, if I back off right now, he approaches me, I'm going to back off again because I'm not going to pincer because that's going to do a framework game again. I don't want to play a framework game. So he's going to get to this one and then probably this one for free as well. And it's just kind of weird and awkward and words like that. I could have attached here, but then I'll be invading him because I'm giving him free influence. It's kind of like if I just play the 3-3. Three, three. I'm just giving him uh, free influence. At that point, in the game is just going to be making shape. Uh, somewhere like over in this kind of area. And if he can't profit while I'm making my shape in this kind of area, and then he's going to be at a bit of a, uh, a bit of a disadvantage this game. I know there's some of you out there who do want me to do a kind of little mini basic series on the AI kind of 3-3 invadey stuff. And I do intend to do that. I really, really, really do. I, I just don't want to do it right now. All right, so he's approached me like we anticipated. 
I'm going to back off like so, and then see what he wants to do. If it were me, I would actually full on play quickly and approach. I think that's completely fine. I don't want to back off high because it gives me the enclosure for black, and I don't like that. Could go into the corner. Not sure if I'm a fan of that either, though. If I go into the corner, like this, I would rather have here. First three, four rather than this. Yeah, so here I could play this one. It goes back into a framework, though. I play here, he has my 3-3. Three, three. I kick, he defends, I go over top, he hanes, I atari, he connects, I atari again, which is a free ladder. Um, he'll play something over in here, and I'll do a ladder break. And uh, yeah, the game continues that way. But again, I said I don't want to do a framework. work. The idea is identifying how to defend yourself uh, with Sente possible. Hmm. Can I do that if I'm making... I don't think I don't think so. I don't think I can do that if I'm the one making the framework, you know? Because well, what would I be defending against? I would be attacking his invasion. So, eh, I don't want to do that. Tell you what, I'll play here. I uh, will play here. And then I have to enclose because getting letting him do the approach thing is just weird. He's taking my extension away. I have to block his enclosure. Same reason he played here when I played here is why I have to play here when he plays here. Very easy peasy and straightforward game so far. But we're just regurgitating, regurgitating Giseki, so it's hard to get the first 40 moves of your game wrong. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Usually, and speaking experience from like teaching and uh, playing basics with various ranks, the 40 move mark is where usually things go wrong because you can memorize opening sequences, you know? And in the opening, you can be like, pow, pow, pow. Got those sequences right. But after that, you got to make a decision. And that's where people go, hear them right down. And don't feel bad if that's you too. Don't feel bad if that's you too. Because I see that at all ranks. I see that at all ranks. Occasionally, I have a question about a game. I'll plug that game to the good old AI over at AI Sensei. I think my link is still probably in the description down below. So make sure to use that if you sign up for it. And what we'll see is even, you know, six, seven dons. When they make a wrong move, it's youth. It's usually starting to be around that move mark. It's, it's impressive, to me anyway, when a game gets like 100 moves in and no one's had like a huge dip in their win rate. Unless the game has just been passive, then it's just whatever. Uh, so I think I'm going to back off high. I like backing off high here because I can keep this low. This tells me I might have influence here. I could back off low, but I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Low is more for territory. This is not territory. Like, if I back off low, he can still invade me still. So why am I backing off low? What's, what's the trade-off? Like, he's going to invade me. I might as well be high. <laughs> That's a sentence. So, okay. He has to make a decision now. My decisions are biggie move, uh, keep him low, follow up and continue this kind of seal off thing, and that one. Those are my big moves. The one on the right has my attention. Because this is the first instance where we think about Sente. If I want to play at F15, it's Gote. So I might want to consider, well, you know, this one could be Sente first. So let's play the Sente move before the Gote move. And if I play what I think is Sente, the second part of that is, do I have a follow-up? So let's say I play here and he tells me to go screw myself. And he plays like over in here or whatever. Well, I slide through and then this stone and this stone, they both need to like live. And the question is, can they at that point? Because I, sl I split through them, right? That seems, that seems, that seems valuable. So I think that, that, that strikes me as sente. This doesn't. I just connect my stones up. This is what I was referring to. He can invade me, so who cares? Though I expected a drop down into a this one or this one. This is just giving me sente. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Now, here's the thing. We're playing basic. But basic 
We want to be solid. It does not mean we're slow. Here, I'm connected with my stones here. He's threatening to kill one stone. So it is super slow to just defend my one stone when we are 24 moves in the game. If 24 moves in the game, unless it's like a cornerstone, right? Threatening to kill off a cornerstone, take like all that for himself, or threatening to split off this stone and completely decimate the right-hand side. Something really, really huge and big and massive. Unless that stone has that kind of value, who cares about it? The main group is connected. We're solid. Let's go do what we mentioned previously. I'm going to lean on this. What's hopefully a Sentai. He can ignore this, but I have... I have... Okay. But I have a follow-up. I can play here and then make him a group that's not alive locally. All right, so we defended there. Now I can jump up. Now you might be saying, but what if he Atari's this one stone with a cut? Then we extend left on the four, five, six, seventh line. We can give up one stone for seventh line. We can give up one stone for our ability to have just created all of this, right? So this is slow or uh, uh, solid, but not slow, right? We don't want to get caught in that mindset. Similarly, if my opponent goes after this one stone right now, let's say they play here, I'm not going to try to think about, well, can I run that out and save it? No, we've, just, we've given this up. We've already had to give it up. If my opponent Atari's here, I'm not going to read, oh, but can I extend? I might have something over here that I could extend. No, we chose to give that up. I'm just going to play here. It saves me time. We made a decision. We're sticking to that decision. Okay. As we can see here, he's kind of trying to eyeball that little sector line doodad right here. I think arguably he's behind it. And here's why. This is why Sente is a... Uh, annoying person. I can lean here for Sente. If I shoulder hit, he's going to respond at least once. But doesn't that just redraw such line to here? So if I cap him and he goes left, can't I lean on him? In Sente to redraw this line and keep this behind enemy lines? And if I can do that, can't I kill him? That said, I'm going to try not to kill, so we're going to go and play here. It's really, really slow, but we're going to play it. Really, really slow. I know. But I played it. Now you should do a jump. Or, for defensive purposes, he could attach here because he's never invaded the top. That's just stupid and overplaying if you even think about it. Like, there's only one, two, three, four moves up there. It'll be five to one. If you get a good result versus a five to one, your opponent made a mistake. Like, if you can't destroy a stone when it's outnumbered that heavily, it's it's not because you're amazing, it's because your opponent was a derp. Right? And we don't want we don't want a derp here. So attaching here is fine. Mahane. He gives me Sente here. This is defended. So I had two and three stones. I can play here again. <laughs> and I can play here for high head two and three stones. Alrighty then. So now we have move again. We defended ourselves here and sent he attached. We defended. We have Sente. If Atari is here, we can tie right back. If Atari is here, still drop back. It's not really a problem. And there are large moves on the board still. Tell you what. I'll go ahead and pick this one. It's really, really huge. It's probably still worth more than a stone or two. So I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Because I almost caught myself like playing a defensive move here. But yeah, it's just defending one or two stones. So the question becomes, is there something larger on the board worth more than one or two stones? And the extension of this corner 
which is opening up a threat to invade right here, has got to be worth more than one or two stones. By the way, the three threes now open very much so because this one point jump. He doesn't have a good answer to it. If I free three him now, this corner's in a lot of trouble. So let's see where he, let's see where he wants to play next. I'm listening to JRPG Musical Nostalgia 4, which is currently playing Tales and Tales of Fantasia. Never played. Never played. It's got very, very classical SNES music to it. So it's a bit relaxing. All right, that's weird, but I can extend up here because he's outnumbered right now, like four to one. So if he drops down, I can Hane, and I should have advantage in that fight. Right? Question is, do I need to be submissive or not? There's no stones over in here, not behind enemy lines. I've got him outnumbered four to one. I can probably do something, right? Sector line, literally here to here. So I can I can extend up once, maybe twice, probably no more beyond that. Probably no more beyond that. Uh, okay, I can hot mate, creating cutting points. That's obvious. Cutting points created, he'll defend himself. The question is how? He must defend, 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 defend. His win condition now is cutting us off. And growing to here. Unfortunately, uh, this stone was a weak group that he created. This is a weak group that he created. So the idea that he's going to be able to do all that with two weak groups is a little bit... Um, is a little bit, um, if you know what I mean. All right, so I might play here. If I play here, there's still like Aji here, huh? Yeah, yeah, I hear ya, I hear ya. Defend? I should defend this way though, shouldn't I? Hmm, a little bit of a, this is a bit of a tough one. Is it? I think it's more basic to not go for the greedy corner, but for the connection. Right? I think that's how that works. Okay. Convince me. Bam! Got it. This is a little bit invadable. It makes the wall solid, though, if he does, so... That's when, uh, unfortunately, the attack will commence. If I wanted to really do the attack, I could put this stone over here and probably get Sente move. And then maybe poke him here and then come on up and try to work one group against the other. That's very, very violent, though, so I'm trying to avoid it. I'm no, I'm not going to mention that one. Yeah, I will, because I literally just said it out loud. This is also a pretty cool uh, way to get more influence. You lean here, he hanes, you hane back, he like ataris you, you extend up, and then you got like a free wall here. It's pretty cool. So here's what I was referring to. He's going to give me, um, in exchange for life in my corner, he's going to give me this wall here. So these four stones are about to have a very, very bad day. Hello. I'm wrong. He's not doing that. Okay, I keep my corner. I think it probably would have been maybe better for him to try to live in the corner. I don't know, it's hard to say. Time we got a nice biggie corner here. This weakness means I don't have to worry about um, this area being large. Because I can literally just clamp to it. I can poke here, I can throw out the cutting point there. I imagine he's going to go after this. But, again, unfortunately, this group is not strong enough, and this group is not strong enough to suddenly launch an attack on... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. So will Atari back? Is he going to counter Atari? Because there's no stones going to go from here all the way over to here. 
It's just too large of a gap, and I already have stones in the middle of it. Again, it's all about shape. One point jumps are pretty solid. Two space jumps? Eh, I mean, maybe three space? Uh, uh, four space? Okay, now you're getting silly. Five space? Six space? Like, at some point, you just have to admit, uh, sir, I don't think it's going to work out here, sir. So it looks like he's going to get these gr this group killed off. I don't want him to do that, though, but it's not really up to me, is it? He's going to Atari here, and then he's going to take. But when I Atari him back, he's giving me free moves to kill the middle group. Yuppers! It looks like that's what we're in uh, store for. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sad. Okay. I will take what's mine. It's fine. Really? He's changed his mind. Okay. He's changed his mind. He doesn't want to commit to that, huh? I mean... Okay. Fine by me. I should get sent out of this. He has to defend this one over here. This is going to become his main source of territory because the bottom's going to get invaded. Okay. Fine, Burmer. Oh, let's see. So I can reduce here and turn this into next to nothing. But what's bigger? What's bigger? I think that this is actually the biggest because it's severe against his group. Which is annoying me because there's not a lot of room in here and that's kind of making me nervous. Um, uh, I'll launch the invasion here first. It's more obvious because we did this one. I don't know if I'm going to take the 3-3 invasion or not. I might. I don't know. But yeah, unfortunately, he's building off this uh, area here that's going to get reduced. That's easy to get reduced because this stone is weak. That that's the generally the uh, crux of the problem in this in this game. We've got a lot of weak groups trying to pretend that they aren't. So he strengthened this one, but he didn't strengthen this one, and as a result, it's just like, ooh, you need to be careful here. If you let me reduce and live to the D line. I think you just lose the game. Because this isn't going to be worth more than this and this and whatever I squeak out here in the territory that it stole from you. Because at best, he owes me Sente again when he defends this one. But it's still open from this side, so we're going to anticipate from here to here. So we're thinking he's going to get, uh, if he defends this one, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, 10, 15 points. I mean... Fine by me, right? I can play here because of the 3-3. Three, three. Here into here is just life. So you think you can see uh, I play here, he plays here, sure. I just go here, and then we're alive. Which means if I play here, he has to do something to, def to block that from happening. And the reason why this got to be invadable so easy is because he strengthened me here. This wasn't strengthened, and then there's like a gap there. So I can just use that strength to be like, zoop, right on in. You know? If this stone, if he had leaned on me, he could have protected this gap, right? He could have maybe defended this area in Sente while he's trying to enlarge. That would have been pretty, that would have been pretty decent, I think, maybe. Rather than this side that I think is kind of doomed to fail. And I think that was after this invasion, which I'm not sure I like. Um, I guess he just wants to grow this area. Uh, but he just did um, You can see the problem with it, right? I'll lose... Uh, I'll lose a beauty period here while you, while you look at it. What's the problem with what he just did? Two periods left. What's the problem with it? Who can tell me? Who knows? Do you know? It's a pretty big one. 
Pretty obvious one, too. It looks impressive, though, doesn't it? This is why a lot of people have trouble with builders. Because their moves are like, dude, he just took one, two, three, four, five, Shi, six, seven, eight, jiu, nine, ten lines. This is 30 points. Oh my god, wu, that's insane. Si, Problem is, that's a large knight. And large knights can be cut. Like, there was never any hope of holding this. A large knight, again, right point blank against my really strong group. With these little stones that only have few liberties? Yeah. See? He's falling back. Because that was a scam. He couldn't hold that. Never could have. It was impossible. Unless I didn't poke at it. Then, yeah, he gets 10 lines of 3. Oof. Oof. That's, oof, that's big. White pulling 30 points out of nowhere. Jesus, that's huge. Oh my god. And if you can't, if you don't know those shape problems, then they get away with it. But if you do know the shape problems, then suddenly that 30 points is about to literally turn into 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 12. Right? Because this is what is going to be. Nothing more. This is a scam. This attempt to expand that far was a complete scam. Is it something to get away with it? If you fall for it. And to be fair, he probably didn't know he was scamming. You know, he, he saw that I was taking away territory here. This had to grow fast. So that's what he did. Now, this I don't think might be Sente, because Ihane, Hihane is back, and I mean, the damage has already been done. The fact that I made this exchange, and then even if he turns, I can make this exchange. It's already been, it's already been, you know, it's already, it's already the thing. So, into the corner we go, because he didn't defend it. And, uh, yeah, that's that should be game over. The top's big, and he can't reduce it. Bottom right corner is big, and he can't reduce it. Um, in exchange for trying to hold an area that he can't actually uh, build easily, he gave up the entire bottom and the entire corner. And now he's he's put himself in the position. Yeah, he has to defend. He lost all of his stuff here. So tell you what, I don't think I'm going to go into his... No, I'm going to do it, aren't I? No, I mm, I'm going to defend this once. Giving him just pure sente. I hope he's in the upper right-hand corner, right, or the upper left-hand corner right now. I'm looking for a kick at E17 into I don't care what. If he does not defend it, I will be playing C17 in a minute because... This is strong, and this is strong, so once the base here, the bulk of his base is gone, then these two stones are going to be very, very upset. Nice and simple game. In review, we will look at some things you could do differently. Very, very differently. Alright, that's pretty pog, I like it. Good job, sir. Um, I'm just going... I could just give him Sente back. I mean, that's the problem. Like, there's nothing more to do in this game. Uh, okay, I'll take the last large point. New points, because we're kind of heading towards endgame, are this one, uh, this one, this one. These are all big points. But yeah, White's territory is the upper left-hand corner. And uh, this area here. So I'm not sure what the score is, but I'm fairly certain that I'm ahead. By uh, uh, that looks like a misclick. It should be here, but okay, we'll give it to him. There could be something I could do differently now because of that move. Like if I play here and he blocks, and I play here and he blocks. Um, no, I guess I, there's nothing I can do. Nothing I do, nothing I do, nothing I do. That's fine. Yeah, I guess he's okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna... Is there a reason to have hardly poke at this? I don't know, I'll take it. Cutting point? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe play here instead. 
Yeah, so he's got the clamp. He's got the clamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, chat. I probably should have played here instead. This is the hardest part for my games because I see this position and I see that, you know, white shouldn't have a path forward. And my attention kind of starts to wane. Like, I like the struggle to get into a position. I like formulating plans to find win conditions. I like hunting for weak groups that I can use uh, to exploit, you know, either just to kill it or exploit the Aji for my purposes. But after that, it, it's it's hard to maintain my focus because this is just kind of feels like where it's kind of going through the motions for us again to kind of close it out. Um, I'll play here. Why not? I'll play here. Why not? The fact that this group might actually get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, like fifteen points here. Ooh, that's insanely huge. Turn was nice, but turn is Gote, unforch. Big unforch. Um but up ba ba da 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 ba What is left to do do ba do? If I play here, I put into Hane, I can't disconnect any of this. The push here doesn't yield anything anymore. Um I mean Fine, I guess I can just play here. Not a particularly large fan of eat. Maybe connecting underneath here is big. If I play here, I'm only getting like one, two points. This is bigger, dude. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. This is bigger because he can clamp and I hane. He Ataris. And then I like get no, literally like no territory here. But if I play this one, then this is these are literally all points. So there we go. Yeah, that's fine. So I congratulate him for getting, not getting killed. Um, there was really nothing that could get killed because he didn't threaten anything. You know. My groups didn't really feel like they were under attack, even the one that was invaded, or those that are doing the invading. Uh, he was just kind of trying to grow and not really contest anything or put pressure on me. So fights had no real reason to break out. But unfortunately, the downside of that, of course, is... I'm just, this is going to dominate the middle. Uh, downside of that, of course, is... I mean, I'm, I'm just ahead. Part of that's playing faster. I leaned on here to here to grow. A lot of his growing was uh, purely in Gote. So that was him not be... That was him being more solid. Or, sorry, more slow than solid. If that makes sense. I can Hane here. But I can't double Hane because of this one. I don't think I can anyway, can I? I don't think so. If, if that feels like I can't. So let's go and extend. Not gonna spend time rigging out. It just looks like I can't, so whatever, I won't try. Boom, boom, boom. So I don't want him to. I didn't Hana here, because again, shortage, liberty, things like that. Turning here is like really, really big right now. He might want to go ahead and do so. Get this one in for free. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. I am being poked back a little bit.
Uh, okay. I take it back. He did do one thing. This move. This move, he did invade me and to and tried to attack my uh, group, but he never followed it up. He never followed it up. That, that was definitely a big problem. Like, he used it to try to get territory in the corner, and then when I contested that, he gave that up too. So, way too passive. Way too passive. If I had to, ha if I had to guess as to why Silver17 here is uh, 5Q, what's holding him back? I would probably look through his game and see if it's uh, the same thing. Do I constantly sl see slow moves that are pretending to just be the solid moves? That's what I would hunt for. That's what I would hunt for. Or then again, he might know who he's playing, and he might just not be taking um, aggressive moves or any chances because of it. And that's the problem with having uh, your ID when you're trying to play this kind of game. Known to everyone. Then they know, like, I'm playing a 7-Don. Well, seemed to be an 8-Don, actually. Three more games. Three more games. At the time of writing this, or at the time of recording this, sorry. I hope by Saturday to have a shiny new 8-Don account. Hope, 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 hope. So it looks like the rest of this is going to be endgame, so let's go ahead and just skip to the end, shall we? I think we shall. Alrighty then. So, this was a game. How did he. Oh, um, I was 30 points up. So, question is, how was I 30 points up? That's a question. So, I backed up here. Again, I explained my reasons for that. Uh, there are things that I, I didn't do that I could have. Like, this is a very. Hello, sir. This is a very, very common thing that I could do. Go bop, 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 skibbity, bop, bop, boop. And then, like, he goes and traces the ladder and plays here, and then we play something like this one. And then the game can, you know, continues or whatever. Pretty, pretty textbook, didn't want to play it. So I played here, and he played there, and then closed, and he blocked my extension, so I block isn't closed. He kicked me, which... I mean, okay, I get it, I get it. The AI is okay with the kick because of the territory and things, but I still think it lets me off entirely way too easily, and I get to pick whatever freaking position that I want here. Do I want a nice solid base? I can take it. Do I want ter do I want influence? I can take it. Do I want to go for a larger uh, kind of framework -y dealio? I can take it. Do I want to say, screw everything that you stand for and play like, I don't know, a move elsewhere. If I think one's big enough, I can take it. It's just like, this is why we didn't play it for a very, very, very long time. And it's, it, it's really, really soft on the opponent and lets them do whatever they want to do. Now, the AI, I'm sure, likes a little bit more because there's less ambiguity as to what your opponent can do what your opponent will do and what your opponent, uh, what you're going to do to respond to your opponent because it can read thousands of variations out in a second. 
So, that ambiguity for us is difficult. Because we have to keep in mind this flexible position when we're doing other things on the board and how that might suddenly turn against us. But, okay, whatever. He invaded immediately, which I think is uh, bad. Um, things I might, I might do. This is slightly frowned upon as well. But it expands here, which I think is pretty pretty good. Main ten sente too. Can then go into like an invasion up in here. I think these are fantastic ideas. I like them. I think this is technically yeah, something the AI does throw in the invasion there pretty early. But again, if you're losing Sente and you just made me stronger, it's a problem. So yeah, we play here. And again, if he jumps up, we slice him in half. Now he's two groups. I think we would win this game. So he plays here. He could ignore me again. Play whatever else. Never play that move, by the way. Uh, but then we can play this one. And he turns here. And then we can jump like this one. And you can see that he's not alive locally, right? Like he's literally this shape. So we can really, really harass. It's one of the many reasons why uh, this attachment is usually answered to is because we don't want to be in a position where we're just not alive anymore because then we're just going to be running around for a very, very long time, and we don't want to do that. And then we do this one, and bam, we're settled. But then I get sent to do other things. Now, his answer to this was to play here, which isn't bad. Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. I would probably kick this just to limit some 3-3 shenanigans. And I might not even go here right now. Truth be told, I might still play here. It's like, if I play here, and Black plays here, like, am I really, am I, am I upset? Am I upset about this? I don't think so. I, I think I'm fine with this. Right? Like, frack this corner, all his territory's up here now. And we know we, got the, we have the clamp, or like the cut, or things like that. I mean, it seems, seems fine to me. So I think this is, I think this is okay. See what, uh, you know, Black does. Like, okay, we got Sente again. So we have to expand for free. And you might be thinking, uh, okay, maybe now I will. That one, you are you got me on. That one, you got me on. Because now I kind of want to do two, one of two things. I kind of want to play here and follow up. Um, I could see something as simple as this one being an okay move. It's not the best move. But it preps this kind of thing. You know? Black has to be very, very careful. Because suddenly there's a weak group here. It's under attack, right? And it uses, better yet, it even uses the stone that we played. Like, we gotta get, this guy's gotta do something. Otherwise, it's a straight pass. And we don't want to do that, right? So this has got to do something. And I think this is a, this is a chance for our stone to do something. When we decide there's nothing that we can do, the only thing we can do is reduce our opponent. That's when we paint a giant target on our back and then hand our opponent a gun. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So um, uh, I'm all out of ideas. So here's here's my vulnerable spot and you will you can have first shot. So, uh, I mean... To a fighter, we'll be like, ooh, really? That, uh, um, <laughs> I mean, ooh, I don't know who to thank. I guess I can lean over here, right? Like I mentioned. And be like, uh, <laughs> I mean, you got to defend the corner, right, sir? And the corner gets defended, and suddenly it's like, okay, that was all done in Sensei, so where is this going? If it goes left, it's dead. If it goes up, it's dead. Like, what happens here? And now, like, this is like, like, that's the threat, right? That's the threat, that this is just going to grow to here. You know? Or worse, they'll be like, live. 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 Go, go live, I don't care. Because I'm just going to build one, two, three, four, five, six lines of territory. Like, you thought you were getting rid of it, but we're just going to play whack-a-mole and make it uh, appear over here. You know? So, this is a last... This is a last resort kind of move. 
We know that's after lines. We can plop a stone to do it. But that crap ain't sente, homie. So we can go and do other things. More aggressive things. Dangerous things. Greedy things. Murderous things. We can make all the stones scream. Like music to our ears it is. Or, you know, whatever you want to do hypothetically. Just, just you know, saying. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. So here is just... We're defending. Same thing again. His plan was, you know, same as plan A. Plan A got him nothing. Plan B gets him nothing. But hopefully plan A and B together get him something. I still think he was probably better off doing something like this. Like, I I don't really like it, though. I'm not sure if I, I think this... I think this will just kill him, though. I think this will just kill him. Because now this and this are in trouble. Like, I want to, I want to see this from White. But I think he's dead if he plays it. So it's rough. It, it's really rough. You know? And again, same thing. I want to play here. But it's just like... It, there's nothing there. You know? We're trying to grow like a 2, 4, 6, 8 plane area right now. Unless we give up Sente again to enlarge it. So Sente twice for black? To enlarge this area? Uh, I don't know, man. If he's going to do anything here, it has to be more... I actually almost said more faster. <laughs> It has to be more severe. Like, play here. It's it's a scam. If your opponent plays and responds... Ba, ba, ba. Victory for Sylvanas. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Like, white should... Black should be aware that's going to happen and defend this way. That way, this is just people sad. You know? But, alright. It wasn't bad, but again, like, it needs just too, many, too much defending. And then... At the very least here, I don't know, at the very least here, force me to go back a- hello. This- hello. Force me to go back this way. Or... Oh, maybe this one, but uh, I don't know about that one at all, actually. That seems like a death sentence. So from here, I, I just don't see what black, or what white can do, sorry. I, I just don't see it. So, I, uh, I was hoping, I was hoping to concentrate on defending in Sente. We didn't really have to do that, because I didn't have anything that I had to defend. Right? I didn't have any I had no pressure applied to me. So I wasn't able to showcase that idea very well. But on the bright side, this showed simple moves. And Sente moves of a different sort. You know? Identifying when we had Sente. This was, that was what this was a game was about. That's what this game was about. So, cool lesson of itself. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you next time. Take care, buddy.